Welcome to another one of my shows. Sorry, we're all, I'm all the fluster here. I'm just trying to turn my phone off so I don't get any messages. Right, sorry. Good evening, everybody. Um, and welcome, Mark, to my, my show. This is Mark Eat My Bibi. Hi, Hi Mark. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Mark. I'm fine. Sorry, it was a bit of a fluster at the start. Normally, <laughs> I have about... 10 minutes quarter of an hour where we can like get prepared and everything else but <laughs> it's not mark's fault it's mine i was i was running late um <laughs> one or two people in chat uh good god i can't see anything without these glasses on <laughs> how, how do i look like like some sort of <laughs> nearly shut eye person that has been a long couple of days with the the arrival of the Kelpie, we've had an awful lot on our plate, and to be fair, I haven't done most of the work, Tina has. So she's tired too. So, good evening, one or two in chat. Uh, George Power Units, George's birthday. Happy birthday, George. Um, you'll get a belated present. Your Kelpie went off today, so you should get that tomorrow. Anyway, George, what are you doing on here on your birthday? Have you got better things to do? <laughs> I get drunk. <laughs> um, Simon and Laurie. Hi, Laurie. Laurie from Kenya. Uh, Martin, UK Vapester. Hi, Rob. Uh, Luke, Laurie again. David, Kevin, Pee Wee, Richie, the Faceless Vapor, Des Turner, and Lynn Smith. Well, hi, one and all. So, Mark, would you like to tell us what you're vaping on? I know one thing you're not vaping on. <laughs> no, because it was just shit today. <laughs> right, I've got the VK530 with uh, Solomon 3 on top. Oh, right, yeah. Got the Drag 2 Platinum uh -huh. with the Free Marks Firework 2 on top. Oh, in this I've got Frozen Pond. This has got Psycho Bunny's Thorn. I've also got Pico Squeeze with the Elder They're Dragon. They're the Picos, aren't they? I quite like the Picos. Yeah. And that's got this stuff in it. It's King's Custard? King's Custard. Well, it's the King's Cream Range. Yeah, it's good juice. Very good juice, that. Yeah. Like and I've also got my top side with the Armour Dowo, which has... What's that got in it? I can't remember. Frozen Pond. Frozen it's, Pond. What is Frozen Pond? It's Quake's Frozen Pond. I've never I like it. Concentrate. Ne um, never there's only it. a couple of sites that actually have it. Is there? And it's uh, ELFC that I get it from. Right. So what flavour profile is that? A very sweet. <laughs> really sweet. Really sweet. Yeah, I have to change my cotton every two days with it. Do you? Yeah. Right. That's that how is, bad it is. That is regular. And is that is that it? Is that all you're vaping on? <laughs> if it is, it is. <laughs> That's all I've got with batteries in them. I've got loads sitting, but no batteries in them because they're all charged for going away. All charged for going. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. You're going. You're going away not tomorrow. The Thursday morning, aren't you? We even Thursday morning. Should get down there Thursday afternoon, and I'll be there until Monday morning and drive back up. Right. Okay. Uh, Laurie's got a question already. Laurie, I'll come back to that in a minute. I'll uh, I'll just do what I'm vaping on. I don't know. Have we seen Daniel yet? Has he nodded off? He's, I bet he's nodded off. There's no Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's always here. Without fail, he's here. I might send him a message in a minute. Wake him up. <laughs> um, right, what I'm vaping on. I'm, I'm on my um, True Tank on the Stratum. Uh, and with a 2150, sorry, 21, if I make mistakes tonight, I am tired, <laughs> folks, I'm sorry, 21700 <laughs> battery. And in that, I've got, I made, not this weekend, the one before, I made some of my juice, and that is all I've got left of 60 mil. And uh, I've pretty much been vaping that exclusively. Where is it? Where is it? It's the... Peach, papaya, and mango. Um, so I'm really enjoying. That's really sweet, Mark. If you like 
sweet. Uh, does that flavour profile interest you, or are you not a peach, papaya, and mango type person? Um, I've never tried it, but right. it has to be in concentrate because I don't buy premixed. The only juice I buy premixed is my salt. It for work. don't you watch my, my channel? It's part of my new concentrate range. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'll have to get a bowl with that then. Shame so. on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's concentrate. What else am I vaping on? Well, I'm on the um, in the billet box, but this one's got the North Bridge. So if I can turn that on so you can all see it. It's got the North Bridge inside it, uh, which basically takes the smock Nord coils. I don't know if you've seen them, Mark. And I, I've got the 0.60 mesh coil in here. I'm not really a, a stock coil sort of person, Mark, but I am quite enjoying that. And I think it's handy if you just want to pack something, like, you know, you're going to expo, you don't want the, the grief of, of a perhaps a rebuildable. So just stick a coil in there and it, it will last you. It will set, serve you well. I'm also on my Y stick um, with the gate. Mouth to lung RTA, that's the three and a half mil version. That's a massive 12 watts. <laughs> <laughs> and inside there, I've got the Manabush tobacco e liquid. That's a bit of a mix there, and it peach, papaya, and, and, and then you go on to tobacco. But it's, I do, I'd sort of flick between the two. <laughs> And in my other billet box, I've got the another uh, North Bridge, but I've got the I've got the ceramic 1.4 ceramic mouth to lung coil in there. That's a bit different, isn't it? It's completely different to the to the 0.6 mesh. And I think I spelt all them on tonight. Yep, yep. There's one or two other bits around me, but that's pretty much what I'm vaping on. So I'll just go to, oh, Daniel. Morning, Daniel. Did you fall asleep? <laughs> Trouble connecting. Yeah, yeah, of course it was. He's been on the bevies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think Daniel drinks, actually. Where's uh, Laurie's question? I have a question. Here we are. Let's put it on the screen that I need answered. So putting it out there, how, how long does an 18650 battery last before I have to chuck it out? And how does one test their health? Oh, we see the battery's health, not your. <laughs> <laughs> We're just a multimeter. Well, <laughs> have you got a multimeter, Laurie? Um, I think really they a given for batteries is you charge them. Uh, is it about three hundred times, Mark? The... I don't know, but I've got. If I can get this out, them, yeah, they're two year old, right? And I charge them at two amps yeah. all the time. Uh -huh. They're still fine. Uh, get just about a few day out of them now, right? Instead of they fall down. So it all depends. I mean, you you do notice that batteries do tend to just get a little bit more tired, as you know, they they're perhaps. Where it would last you all day, it's not lasting you all day, and you think, I don't know, it's time to have a new battery. And I think that's that's pretty much all I do, Laurie, to be honest. I don't think they don't suddenly become dangerous, they just don't become you know, they don't stay perhaps quite as sharp as they've always been. Yeah, you're not getting as long out of them. No, correct. That's, that's the when you I'm, can. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> the other way to tell is when you charge them. Check the voltage on them when you put them in the charger, and if there is a big difference between them, the one that's the lowest, chuck it. Yeah, assuming you've got uh, a reason on your charger. Yeah. 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 Um, watching on phone, can't get sound on that. Oh dear, Daniel, can't get your sound on your laptop. Uh, it's late here, and yeah, you. I know it's the time difference in Kenya is, is late, so I do I do accept that. Uh, <laughs> Laurie, will you stop? <laughs> All the questions are Laurie. What is a ceramic coil? Ceramic coil is is basically instead of well, sometimes you can have ceramic and cotton, can't you, Mark? But it it's ceramic yeah. inside normally, which is the absorbent material. But they're 
you're not as likely to get like a dry hit of ceramic, but or it's not as harsh if you do. Um, but it's. I don't know what you think, Mark. I don't think I've quite got it right yet, do you? I, I don't ever get quite... <laughs> I just didn't like them. You don't, don't like them? don't like no. them at all. I mean, that, to me, if I... This ceramic coil in here, if I put that against, you know, my rebuildable with a one ohm coil, I'm getting far more out of here than I ever will out of that. But, you know, it's... I quite like to see people trying, if you like. Like, progress is progress. And if they can make ceramic coils work well then great if we have to put up with this interim period of like going through silica wicks to get to cotton that's that's fine i'm going to upset everyone now who likes silica still i still use it yeah. i still use it in my cape one <laughs> do you still use silica yep really um got my cape one out well done chris i hope you're enjoying it and it's always on my Mac. It's probably not even changed actually. Even Kieran. Oh, it's definitely even changed. <laughs> oh, oh my word! <laughs> That's definitely even changed. Um, I've never put that down now. Oh uh, right, so George, uh, he won't get his his kelpie tomorrow. He's in, he's in Ireland, so. Uh, uh -huh. So, so uh, on, in Ireland, what's that, uh, like a, a birthday fishing holiday, is it, George, something like that? Ah, oh, there you go, Daniel sorted his laptop, well done, Daniel. He'd, he'd have been panicking, I reckon. <laughs> um, what it is, is that that's actually frozen pond, and that's where it's turned that colour so quick. Good God, yeah. So... But it's still silica. Right, well, I don't know the answer to this, so I'm going to put his question up on the screen. I'll read it to you, uh, Mark, because you're on a slight delay. Incidentally, if anyone's <laughs> got a question, there's two Marks again tonight, which is confusing. So if you've got a question for Mark, eat my BB, why not just put BB, capital BB at the start, and then we'll know you're aiming at, at him. You can put NV <laughs> if you like for me, NV Mark and BB Mark, so we know. Um, hi, thanks for reviews. Is there a way to rebuild a Renova Zero coil, please? Is it as simple as the Mini Fit? Please advise and keep up the very much appreciated. Well, thanks, Moroccan Wonders. Um, I've never come across a Renova coil, so I can't answer that question. The, Neither have I. The Mini Fit was like a, you know, it's a pod, Mark, you probably know, but um, I did a, a, a YouTube video on how to rebuild them right. and that's where that's come from uh -huh. so sorry moroccan wonders um it's not one i've really come across but and david cox says pretty much a duff battery won't charge mine all reading 3.2 depends on what mud they're using i'll take it down to 3.2 I think Laurie uses the Mod 101 more than anything. Because I had one that turned it down to 3 volts. 3, and did you? No, chap. Yeah. So you have lost the round tonight. What have you lost? My screwdriver. So I can put my silica back in so it doesn't oh, work right. until I get time to change it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been, it's been a testing week this end. I mean, I've I got a confession to make, everybody. I did a review on the Northbridge coil for the billet box, and I don't know if you've ever done this, Mark, but it's my first time I've ever done it. I was rushing a bit. It was a Sunday. I'd been, I worked all weekend as well, Saturday and Sunday, on various different aspects of Nature Vape. Um, and I knew that my Sunday dinner was imminent, and I, I was thought if I if I do this quick I can get it uploaded onto YouTube and I I uploaded the draft I didn't uh, the unedited version of, which was completely from start to finish I mean it it was a good job I didn't sit there and pick me nose <laughs> <laughs> and I, I didn't realize until the next morning because I, I sort of had my Sunday dinner we watched a film and I didn't realize and I thought I'd just not 
I clipped the start but not deleted it, but I hadn't. It was the whole <laughs> lot was unedited, so nothing too embarrassing. But sorry for it. it did mean I lost about two hundred odd views uh, because I took it down and and put the edited version up. But have you ever done that? Um, I've done it where I've not cut put my cuts together, kind of like the up top at the start, then the bold section or the down wall section, then mm. the up top section again. Um, I forgot to put them all together, so it was like this two minute gap either side. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to take it down and put it back up again. <laughs> it's not uh, very nice. <laughs> Andy Fletcher, Mark NV. See, that works. Look, let's put his comment up because he's, he's done it right. Mark NV, me. Did you get my email about coils? Um, no. I can't think of a, an email I've got about coils, Andy. Perhaps you'd like to send it again, um, unless my brain just isn't functioning tonight. Um, <clears throat> I can't say, oh, here's another Mark, or NV Mark. Come on, pick on the other one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got two Ed Zachary's off you, and the vape is incredible, amazing draw and flavour. Yeah, it is. Um, thanks, Justin. Yeah, they're a good tank. Um, the Ed Zachary, uh, I don't know if you know, Mark, that's basically it's a K-Fun like 2019, but it's, there's no markings on it anywhere. It's just plain. And rather than try and call it the same thing, I called it an Ed Zachary. Uh, just like the Chinese, perhaps it's Ed Zachary the same. You know? <laughs> so, that was where it came from. So me with a bit of humour, but yeah, I'm pleased you, pleased you like it. Um, right, I can't see any other questions there, so that's good. So Mark, your um, occupation, you're, you're a driver, HG driver? Yes, HGV, HGV driver. HGV. So is that Long distance or just local? Just local. Local. Aim every night. In every well, that's good, isn't it? Really, so you don't yeah. even have to sleep in a in the cab. You're just you're home in a proper bed. Have you ever done the like the long distance work then? No, wouldn't it? Because they, they don't pay you when you're not working. Oh, so right. when you're in your bed in the cab, yeah. you're technically still at work, but they don't pay you. They give you. So you ought to be paid to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. Because technically, if you work in an office and you're in the office, you get paid. Right. Well, so, yeah, me being inside sleep. the cab, I'm, uh, <laughs> I can people that sleep in offices. <laughs> and when I'm in the cab, I expect to get paid because that's my work. Mm. So, I can, nobody would pay me. But is the money not more anyway for, for doing like stop outs? Um, no. Your hours are longer, which makes your money more, but the hourly rate's the same. Oh, uh, right. Okay. I'm not picking on you, by the way. I was just <laughs> asking. <laughs> no, no. If you're long distance, they usually go to the maximum driving right. time and working hours Yeah. that they can do, and here the shortest time off that they can do. So between the Monday and Friday, they may do, what, 45, 50 hours of driving, uh -huh. plus whatever they take to get unloaded and that. So they, f they wake up a fair bit. Right. Uh, hours. And oh! I just crashed my <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> oh, that's when you wonder if the whole screen's <laughs> going to go. Well, I, okay, I've just written something down here, Mark. Let's see if this works. I've got a question for you. When you're in your lorry mm -hmm. and you look in the in the rear view mirror or the side wing mirror. Is it wing mirror? I suppose it is. But the yeah. window mirror of your lorry. And you can see this car pushing you from behind. Or when you're approaching on a motorway, the car that overtakes you pulls in front and then pulls off in front of you and leaves you to keep going. What badge has that car normally got on it? Um, anything. <laughs> no? Is I've there had a... everything. Because I've noticed, and it actually happened on my journey home tonight, and I thought, why is it always that brand of car? Why do they think they're more important than me that they have to... They're always trying to gain an advantage, like the around... I'm going to upset someone who's got one in chat now, but a roundabout, <laughs> they're in the wrong 
lane because there's less cars in it. They go in the wrong, like this lane. They just file off that way. And you think, was that that important? What have you gained? But there's normally a, a specific badge on that car. Wouldn't that, it be a Ford? Well, I don't think it is a Ford. Anyone in chat, what do you <laughs> think? What car do you think? Oh, Martin thinks it's a BMW. Who else in chat? Come on, that's, that's not the car I think it is. Yeah, no, oh, hang on. No, we haven't got any. Well, okay, no one knows <laughs> it must just be me or a Norfolk thing. But <laughs> that's the car I think <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, just always, I mean, mine's a Volkswagen, so uh, yeah, BMW Audi. <laughs> Daniel's got it, yeah. <laughs> So it just, to me, always just seems to be, I thought it was just going to be a bit of fun. So anyone in chat who's got an Audi, I apologise. I'm sure you're not all like it. <laughs> just, uh, now now I've said it, Mark, can you relate to that? Yeah, it happens all the time. Yeah, It's just not cars, it's like transit vans and the wee yeah. pickups and that as well. They all do it. A white van man, they're, they're bad, are they? Yeah. They're bad at everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's silver, so I'm all right. <laughs> uh, I saw a question here with BB in front of it, so we're going to go with that. It's from Laurie again. Uh, BB Mark, can you tell me what the EH Pro reading should be on a fully charged 18650? NV Mark is sick of me asking too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Laurie's got a sense of humor. Thanks, Laurie. On an EH Pro. Um, I mean, if it's fully charged, it should be saying 3.7, 3.8, 3.9. No, charge should be 4.2-ish. Well, 4.2, but you, you, you know, you'd be, you wouldn't mind if it said 3.7, would you? I mean, I've got. What have we got if it's here? fully charged, it should be between four and 4.2. Yeah. Um, Do you know I've never looked at a fully charged battery? This was fully charged tonight. Never that. <laughs> I just go be my charger when that says it's at well, 4.2 doesn't tell and you, charged. That's it. I, yeah, no, the, the DNA chip just tells you when you press the button what you're using. And may, maybe that's the same for the Mod 101. Does that just tell you what the battery needs for that coil? Because... Laurie, you're on a, a mouth-to-lung type coil, so it's not going to need a lot of power. And especially if you're vaping at, I don't know what wattage you're on, but if you're on like 10 watts, 9 or 10 watts, it probably is only using 3.2 volts, isn't it, Mark? Yeah, something like that. That's that, actually. Yeah, so I've got in here a 12 watt. Um, let's press the button. Well, that's... Um, that's 3.9 volts of that coil on right. a 1.0, so that's banged that argument out. But I've just put two batteries from my tray in my two-year-old batteries, yeah. and it's sitting at 8.2 volts. So, so it's like 4.1 each. Yeah, 4.1 each. Yeah. I'm not sure how the chip works on the Mod 101, and I've got a feeling it's just telling Laurie what she's using off that battery for that coil that's what i think it is try it in a different Have mod a if you've got one lorry to see if it gives you a reading you know from like just the word go without a uh, a tank on that battery perhaps and i think that and uh, andy Fletch, thanks andy andy sent the email again so i'll have a look at that later um and yeah lethal hi lethal uh he said that 4.2 volts yeah a fully charged one should be 4.2 but i've never known even an old 18650 i've never known it read 3.543 it's just not happened not to me not for a fully charged battery no i reckon if it's been charged fully you put in a, a mod or you test and it's below four volts i would consider getting new batteries mm. Because then, obviously, it's not holding the full charge to where it should be, so they're well used and need replacing. Yeah. Oh, hi, Garrett. Let's see, Garrett's in chat. Um, any other questions, Dan? Yeah, BMW. We've got the cars now. BMW, BMW, Audi. Yeah. 
I'd say that Mercedes Benz, Audi, Audi. So it's not just me. <laughs> 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 it's not, it's not. They're just copying you. <laughs> They're not copying me. My 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 um, subscribers are intelligent people. They don't copy. They're not sheep. Are they, Daniel? <laughs> he always laughs at me because I come from Norfolk. There's a lot of sheep. Um, well, there you go. Here's a question. BB from Bob C- Cattrall. Um, what does BB stand for? Let's have the, the full meaning of your name, Eat My BB. BB stands for BB, just what it is. Right. As in ballistic bullet. As in what? Right. Ballistic bullet. Um, can we toy guns that you probably had when you were a child and there was a wee plastic buzz that come out? Right, okay. That's called a baby. A plastic right. bullet. Um, I used to do Airsoft. And my name is Eat My Baby on their right. forum. Okay. So I just kept that going and that's how I've still got Eat My right. Baby. That makes sense. That makes sense. Let's get rid of that. Um, yeah, 14 to 15 watts lorries on. But, but uh, I, th- I think, you know, we've pretty much... There, there's nothing else. There's no other knowledge in here that I can think of that, that I haven't already answered on that one. Um, yeah, and David Cox says that his batteries are three point five uh, when they're flat and four point two, and that which is is about mm-hmm. right, you know. But the other thing is obviously pays not to let that eighteen six fifty run completely flat. You know, always better taking it out. That I think that was confusing at the at the time that when remember the old Nikehead batteries we were told to let them f- to charge them fully let them go run down fully then recharge because they had like a memory and if you charged them halfway full they would that memory would shorten and and the batteries would be defunct that rule doesn't apply to lithium batteries at all it's completely no. different chemistry so it doesn't doesn't uh, change chunk well, hello, on, on chunk. The vehicle. Um, I have to get Chunk on here one day. Is he up for that, Chunk? Do you want to pop on the show one day? Um, it's nice to see you in chat. Okay, what's the other thing I heard today? The um, coins, they're thinking about getting rid of them, aren't they? Is it half P and one P? Or is it half P, one P and, and two P? I don't know. Half P is out of circulation. Sorry, not half P. It's one P and two. <laughs> I told you I was tired. It's one P and two P, isn't it? That they're thinking of the Chancellor what is, is thinking of getting rid of them and, and whether we think that's a good idea because things like um, don't seem to be 99 or like, penny chews do we still have penny chews <laughs> can't have penny chews I anymore. couldn't tell you <laughs> <laughs> don't you go and eat penny chews anymore oh dear no I just buy a bag of sweets <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah penny chews but they, you know it's basically saying because they got rid of the well, they get rid of the half half penny, you know. But they were in the old old times. I think they were costing more to produce than they were actually worth, weren't they? And I think that's why they got rid of them. But um, I'm not sure that the modern day ones do because they're pretty much tin, aren't they? Like a one p and a two p, they're magnetic, so they can't be copper anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they might have a coating on them, but yeah. yeah. But I don't know what you think about that. But I think. You know, when you go in a shop and you get your change back, if there's like two or three P, I'll chuck it in the charity box. What about all the charities that are going to lose out on that? Because I probably wouldn't, because I'm a bit mean, I probably wouldn't put 10P in, but I'll put a tuppence in or a penny, wouldn't you? Or do you not give to charity? <laughs> my charity is my own wee personal bank. Charity um, begins at home, does it? Yep. <laughs> I just cashed it into the expo. From the last expo, there was £200 in it. Oh, would you have a bottle or something that you bung your Aye. change in? I yeah, do. yeah. And that helps towards um, me getting stuff at the expo. Right. <laughs> What's that, Chunk? Even spending a penny in town costs 20p. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, you'll have to find a bush. They're cheap. <laughs> They're a lot cheaper, bushes are. Um, oh what's this oh John oh sorry to hear that John uh, his wife is ser- seriously ill 
So he's missed Sunday going through. Uh, oh, that's that's terrible, John. I'm sorry about yeah. that. I hope your wife feels better soon. Um, <laughs> there's always one, isn't there? Look at this. Uh, let's put him up there, Luke. People are still using my five B bags. <laughs> Two is one. I suppose they do, but bag for life is more. Um, right, Andy Fletcher. Mark, make sure you tired of getting all them Kelpies out. Yeah, I mean, that's the Kelpie. This was a bizarre situation, and I think I told you about it, didn't I, Mark? That the what was supposed to happen is the stainless steel were coming first. Uh, followed by the black uh, two about two days later but so I think actually some people thought well I'm going to go for stainless steel then so I'll get it quicker but what happened was the stainless steel got stopped in customs and got scrutinized in customs and I, I spent quite a while on the phone getting those released but it still took time and the blacks just sailed through and arrived first <laughs> so, so the <laughs> The blacks came before anything else, but it was quite handy. One, the stainless steel came through this morning. Um, they all went out today, and the blacks came in yesterday, and they all went out yesterday. And the blacks didn't come in until I think it was about ten past one, uh, and we managed to get all of them packed and done by about four o'clock. But we were ready for them, if you know what I mean. We were organised, so. That was that was okay, but yeah, it's been tiring. You can probably tell by my eyes. I'm I'm pretty shattered. Um, there's been a lot to do. Um, what's this Pav? Put Pav up. Hi, Mark. Mark and Mark. Hello, chat. I only popped in to say hi as I'm at work. <laughs> See, you know, you want to get paid to sleep. Pav wants to get paid to watch us. <laughs> I have to watch on catch up. First of all, we landed safely. Oh, thank you, mate. You're welcome, Pav. Glad it arrived. I think one or two people got theirs today um, in chat. Anyone in there in chat that has got their Kelpie? And if they did, what do they think of it? That's a, a question for you. I'm sure that there's one or two in chat that have probably ordered a Kelpie. There was... Oh, there's quite a lot went out. I think we're knocking towards... It's, it's getting somewhere near the 300 mark, so there's quite a lot gone out. Now. That's not too bad. No, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. But it's been... I'd actually like to take this opportunity, actually, of thanking people. that In the main, people have been very, very patient. And there's nothing worse. When you're struggling, I don't sit here like... Think and just put my feet and think, well, they get here when they get here. We're not in a hurry. I'm as anxious and as keen as the customers are. <laughs> and when you get email after email saying, any news on the Kelpie, any news on the Kelpie, and I've tried to go on every, um, you know, show and things and make that announcement. But, you know, in, in the main, people have been pretty good. So thank you for that. You haven't given me a too hard a time when they got delayed so in fact no one has given me a hard time which is lovely very good. good to hear yeah I and mean, it's just things get delayed things happen but you know i was still i'm pretty confident anyway i was still the first to get them and you'll be the first to get them from me so we went sent them out as soon as we could so yeah Expo. i'm up top when i first ordered it sorry i'm up top when i first ordered it because I ordered it to after the payment section, and then you've got that next button to press for to confirm it. Right. Yeah, I never done that. I shut it down. Oh right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because you asked if your order had gone through, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Expo, you're going, aren't you? So what days are you going for? I'll be there from Thursday to Monday. Thursday. Oh, so you're going for the long haul then? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's a long haul back up the road on a Sunday after it. Yes, I guess it is, yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. So do you drive or...? Yeah, it's about a six-hour drive without stopping. Is it? Yes, yeah, about four hours from me. No, it's not. I'm talking rubbish. Three. Three hours. <laughs> it's two and a half hours to Coventry, like about another... Yeah, it's about three hours. So, speeding tickets. Speeding tickets to follow. But like last time... <laughs> <laughs> Cruise control, seventy miles an hour. 
Is that the way? Is that the way forward? That's the way. Mm. Unless it's raining, don't use your cruise control. If it's or raining? If the road's wet, yes. Because if you aquaplane, your wheels will just keep spinning. Mm. Where if you aquaplane, take your foot off the accelerator and just let it slow down itself. Right. And that's the little button on the steering wheel, is it, Mark? It says CC. I wonder what that was. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yes, Chunk, I am coming. I'm coming on the... I've changed my mind a bit of what I was doing. I was going to book a hotel um, somewhere about sort of 50 miles away, like a, in the sticks a bit, and treat the Friday night as a, a bit of a sort of a, a day off, uh, more so Tina than me. Um, but we haven't now. We're going on the Friday night. We're staying at the hotel near the expo. Uh, so we're staying Friday night and then using the Saturday to... To look round Expo, so I'll get round in one day, won't I? Depends how long I spend at the bar, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, how 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 sort of long does it take you to to find what you're interested in, Mark? Do you use it as a like a resource for your YouTube channel? Um, not really. I'll go down and see what's there. And if I like the look anything, I'll just get it. It was like the skull mod that I got last, well, in October. i seen it, I like to look at it, and it's like, I'll get that. Yeah. So so you're, you're not going with any sort of pre-ideas about what you want to buy. You, it's just if it takes your fancy, is it? Yeah. It solves the way. <clears throat> oh, so if I like the look at it, I'll get it. Right. Well, that's fair enough. Fair enough. I think it's going to be mostly pod systems that's there. Oh, I hope not. Just for all the pods that's been coming out since yeah. Yeah, it's been the beginning of the year. Mm. It's like every company's hitting pods kits at the moment. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's, there's pods and pods. I've got a couple here, actually. I, I bought the the Smop Nord uh, to try it for the, the, the North Bridge before that arrived. I just wanted to see if these coils were, were any good, basically. I don't know if that'll still work. Yeah, I don't know what I got in that one. That's been <laughs> sat there for a couple of weeks. Um, like all these things, you, you find you have to, while you're using them, they vape well, but they don't like sitting there, do they? You know, if you let them sit for a for a week or two, this it's just rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. And the sense... Now, if you think about it, people buying pod kits are new vapors. People try to convert from cigarettes to smoking. Yeah. Most of them will be they people. Yeah, and they won't get be people like people, us that will try they? them. There won't really be pod people. I don't think pod people want to go to the expo. I, I guess there'll be buyers there, won't they, for the for their shops that they might be interested. But I wouldn't have thought other than that. What have no. I done with my Kelpie? I must have left that downstairs. Daft, <laughs> daft man. <laughs> I have got the, um, just to prove to everyone, they did arrive. That's the black. I haven't actually unwrapped. Do you know, I haven't even set one up myself yet. That's the black there, Kelpie. Um, what serial number have I got? I'm only teasing you, Mark, because you haven't got yours. 750 yeah, nice. I've got 750 on this one so that will be my that will be my keeper I reckon because I had the the prototype some time ago but I didn't get the you know I didn't have any writing underneath it so I want one that's that's official um it's the other thing I got today actually this will annoy one man in check because I know he's interested in it the Vandy Vape Jackaroo have you seen the Jackaroo? Oh, I've not got that yet. No? No. This is the kit. Um, take the rubber battery thing out. And literally, I, I just opened this box about an hour, I guess, before the show. So I did sling a battery in there. <laughs> uh, but I haven't, <laughs> I haven't had a go on it yet. It looks quite neat. It's the... Um, oh, the what's, what's the other one? The one it's trying to sort of copy, if you like. It's rubber, uh, waterproof, Geek Vape. 
ages. Ages, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just couldn't think of it. So, and it takes twenty one seven fit twenty one seven hundred battery. So, don't know. It's, it feels quite nice. It feels quite quite solid. So I'll have a go with that, and um, I may or may not stock them. I don't know. I'll I'll have a go and see what I think. So I'll put him back in the box. I'll keep it new for now. I won't put a tank on it. Put it down there. <laughs> Uh, so I have a bit of a go for kits. It's mainly just like the mod on its own or the tank on its own. Yeah, there's not that much difference in the price between buying it as a kit and buying it because I'm like you. I would only really want the mod. I'm not really interested in their tank with their you know stock coil in it. To be honest with you, but you know the, the price difference is, is very is quite minimal, isn't it? The, the, I mean, they are offering them as a as a mod as well. I haven't been keeping up with chat. Have I missed anything? Are you watching? Mm, MF Vips come in. Hello, Mike. I think Mike has done his Kelpie review. This is like a... <laughs> yeah, I've missed loads of chat. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't scrolling down. Oh, my word, there's loads. But I don't know if anyone said anything of, of any relevance in there. Um... I, I want to watch Mike's review of the Kelpie, but I, in another way, I never normally watch other reviews before I do my review. So although I want to, um, it's like the, ah, do I, don't I, and I haven't yet. I mean, obviously, I've watched Vic's introduction video, um, but that's about it. So what else, what have I missed? What have I missed? Yeah, I've not watched no reviews of it, neither. I mean, to get it. And then I'll review it and watch other ones. So you're the same, you don't watch other reviews, you want to try it all first? Yep, the only time I watch a review and that's how I get stuck, try to get good flavour for it. Yeah. After maybe coiling about 50 times. <laughs> that's not very polite, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> the reason for that is it was... Uh, <laughs> Daniel lose interest in that mod and I uh, <laughs> <laughs> sort of beat him to it and got one first. Yeah, thank you, Chunk. I just see Chunk's got knowledge, doesn't he? He knows, doesn't he? Um, is Salford in, in there? I haven't seen him. Is David in that in chat? I haven't seen him. Curly Chew. Hi, Curly Chew. And Ike. Uh, Garrett again. Yeah, I think we're... Oh, yeah, there's Salford. David, how are you, David? Mark, you missed everything in chat. Yes, yeah, sorry. God, did I miss anything <laughs> important? Let's scroll back up. Uh, no, I don't think so. He's just teasing me and picking on me again, isn't he? he, get, he <laughs> David reckons that everyone picks on him. I actually think it's the other way around, you know. <laughs> I think he picks on us. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so back to Expo then, Mark. So you... you do you spend most of your time at the, at the bar then, socialising, or, or do you like a good wander around and a and a good old look? No, I usually have a good wander around. Mm. Um, usually walking more than when I'm sitting. Because really? usually when I sit, I sort of seize up, just oh, be walking so much. Well, that's not good for a lorry driver, is it? No. <laughs> well, I'm used to sitting, isn't I? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to get out of your lorry and can't. Ah. But it's just because I'm walking so much. Because usually when I'm at work, I don't walk. Maybe I run the trailer to open the curtains and that. Mm. And that's about it. But even when I'm not working, I still don't walk a lot. Don't you? Are no. you not an animal person? <laughs> you haven't got dogs or anything like that? I've got five cats. Five cats? You look a yes. bit of a twaset walking then, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, don't have a dog. Um so I didn't have to go walking the dog or nothing. Right. Uh, yeah, MF is trying to get me to watch his review, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I might. I might, might. The, actually, the exception to that is, you know, if you, if I buy something, I don't know, if I, am I missing something with this? It doesn't seem to be working that well. Then, then I might watch another review to, you know, to see if I've got something wrong or... You know, see if it is as as bad as I think it is. 
But, so what's the worst thing you've ever reviewed then, Mark? What was the thing that left you coldest? What you thought, John, this is just poo. <laughs> Aqua FX. Wow. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> no, I Did... hated that. We well, had to get the coil in the ceramic and mm. wrap your cotton around the ceramic. Oh, I just hated that. I had to watch your video about five times to get it right. Did you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See, I quite like that. Yeah, I remember doing that video because the, the spring, <laughs> I was lucky as hell, the spring pinged off and actually landed, it like hit everything and then landed right in front of me so I could just pick it up again. <laughs> but yeah, oh, so you couldn't get, because Vic had a right torrid time of that as well, didn't he? Yeah. And some days, like, I should get the cone and see if it fits, if it's interchangeable. So I did, and that wasn't it. No. The ceramic was bigger. It was, yeah, it was, uh, I just like, I, hate that. <laughs> I just like Futoon stuff. There's a new tank out and I've left that downstairs as well. I really wasn't ready for tonight. I was running late. Um, they've got a new tank out. I'll perhaps show it next week. Um, but it's, it's like a mouth to lung and direct lung as well. Um, but I haven't really got to grips with it properly yet. I haven't tried it out properly. Um, as long as the airflow is on it, adjustable airflow. Yeah, it's it's hard to explain. You've got like an open airflow inside, then you've got two dots in front of it. And when you go from open, direct lung, to mouth to lung, it converts from the big one to the little one. But I don't know, I just I never think a tank Either make one or the other. I don't like it when they're trying to do both jobs. They never seem to do either one really well. They just, you know, they do, they do like a quite a good job of one and not such a good job of the other. I think, um, and I'm not sure if that's the case with this one. But I haven't tried it out properly yet, so I don't want to um, say that you know anything too much until I have. And yeah, <laughs> thank you, Laurie. I do miss a lot of chat. She says, but I like you anyway. <laughs> oh, we like you anyway. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll put Mike's comment up on chat. Uh, Mike says, yeah, he's been known, <laughs> known to if he's stuck like the Bombus. Mike got in a bit of a muddle with the Bombus, the wicking of the Bombus. And I think he, he watched, I don't know if he watched mine or if I'd done mine at that stage. I don't think I'd done mine at that stage. Uh, but I think he watched Vix or someone's and spoke to Mark about it you got you got no we didn't like the bombers did we Mike <laughs> I wasn't did you have the bombers did you like the bombers yeah I've still got it have you is it in rotation do you use it not a lot no, it's still in the mod um, there is still juice in it which will be frozen pond frozen <laughs> but there's no bat oh there is a bat in it Yeah, it's not got a whole lot in there. You haven't used that for a little <coughs> while, have you? <laughs> it's an in I'm tasting the stir on it. Can when you leave it sitting for a week or two and you have it and you get that stir taste? Like, yeah, oh. they're never never good, are they, when you do that? No, so that's not a queen. <laughs> I don't even care batteries on it. Oh, I hate this mod for it. Single 18, 650. Oh, the secrets come out now, don't they? Chunk, MF, I've fixed your graphic. Check your Facebook. So, are you, Chunk, are you doing everyone's graphics? Is that a free service you're offering for everyone? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, my graphics are non-existent. I mean, I'm quite impressed by some of the YouTube reviews. So they get this lovely little intro and, you know, personally, I haven't got... Have you got one on yours, Mark? I can't no. remember. No. I just use my logo for, I think it's about two seconds. Right. And that's it. Mm. Because I'm not good at doing anything like that. Say again? I'm not good at doing anything like no, that. No, you know, I thought you were. I thought you were a techie. No. Um, but no, I'm not either. I'm not I'm not very good at that. I mean, it's uh, f flat cap on the show the other week. And, you know, he's, he seems really into it, you know, doing the the different various graphics and stuff it's clever but uh 
takes time. Uh, Laurie, good night all. Obviously new at this new pressure. <laughs> no, you're not. I don't think you're newer, Laurie. You've been vaping for some time. But I think sometimes the... I was going to say till the penny drops, but it's not even so much that, is it? It's... Some people naturally take to it. I'm quite a... I'm like a tinkerer. That's why I suppose I like rebuildables. And, you know, that's just my nature. But not everyone is. And some people like the the straightforward. I reckon that's why they sold so many smock tanks, don't you, Mark? You know, the people that just wanted to plug and play. No, I like doing my rebuildables and that. I always carry a stock oil tank though, for where I'm at work. So if something does happen, it's a quick change of coil and that's it. Sorry, which one do you use? Um, it depends. <laughs> the other one I loft. I've got the firelight too, and I've also got the I've got the mat tank now, which is there from Vipi. Right. I use that as well. Um, but I was using the Mesh Pro or the M Pro. It's called now. Right. Uh, three mats. I was yeah. using that. But I don't let you top on it, it just slides too easy. Oh, right. Do you like mesh then? Yeah, it's okay for stock coils. But it's no good for a rebuildable, I think, personally. Like yeah, uh, what's it, the profile, wasn't it? I, I didn't, and they've got the RTA now, the profile, haven't they? It's not, I tried the dripper and I just thought it left me a bit cold. I didn't, I didn't think it was. But apparently, um, we had UK Vapester on here, Rob, last week, and he said he really liked it, and I was wicking it wrong, so <laughs> maybe I was. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, I'm just petrified of dry hits off those things, because I've had dry hits off mesh, and it's it's not nice, is it? It really isn't. No, when I had the profile, I'd just put a single coil on it. And Chunk, Nature Boat, do I have you on my show list? I'll go check. Uh, didn't know you had one, Chunk. <laughs> <laughs> What's a show list? <laughs> <clears throat> I've got one of them. Have you? Yeah, for Marshall. Right. Um, the, cra- Where is it? the Crazy Vape Show on yeah. a Sunday night. Yeah. With me and Demi Crazy Damper. Mm-hmm. The- person that made or designed the armadillo rda yeah and i've got a bone to pick with you about that why didn't well, i get one don't know it wasn't me i had them <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd, uh, you'd have to speak to demi about that yeah yeah it'd be nice to try one um i've actually got three because if you look i can't see myself just there there's a line of boxes right that's the three armadillos that come out. So I've got three, but I use one and another two are kept in their box. Right. I'm going to get myself another one, so I've got a full set of the three, um, not used. I'm just reading some of the chat. Um, <laughs> sorry. Matt Benson, put that up there. Mark Major, have you checked if you're in flat caps? Top clouds? What top clouds? <laughs> what's, what, what's all this stuff I've been missing, you know, while I'm working away? Um, presumably that's something on his, was it on his Facebook page or something? Um, Laurie's that I read earlier that she said she didn't like the long intro loud uh, videos. She just wanted to get to the to the meat of the thing. Read into that what you will. No, I mustn't. I mustn't get smutty <laughs> on this show. That's just, that's just not right. <laughs> I've kept it clean all this time. <laughs> um, yeah, just to, yeah. I know. It's in L- Laurie's. Let's put that up there. Uh, she loves rebuilding. Just to have more questions to understand that in the finer points. But I mean, Laurie, I know has had um, like my true tank. She's had. Uh, the berserker before that so she does rebuild but i think probably like quite a lot of people once she's done it a few times she gets better at it and sticks with that tank for quite some time she doesn't tend to go off to another one so i suppose it's all right for us isn't it we jump from tank 
to tank to tank and we probably understand a bit more of the general sort of picture of what's going on although you know mouth to lung tanks aren't too hard I don't think once you've sort of got to the basics of them uh, what's Mike put up here MFA, it's okay, at bear the air flows. Oh, right, he's answering someone else's chat, I think, as good as other car types could flow. Not a great hit for me. Which one was he talking about there? Don't know. Don't know which one you're talking about there, Mike. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Mark, I've upgraded from a single 26... Uh, yeah, so he's upgraded his coil. Curly Chew, OFRF are doing a new mesh tank. Oh, right. Oh, yes, they are. Um, good point, Curly Chew. Thank you. They're doing a new mesh tank, and they sent me pictures of it and asked if I was going to Expo, so presumably OF, uh, OFRF are going to Expo. I know Artery are going there. Uh, I've spoken to my contact there. She's landed in London today, I think, um, and on her <laughs> way to Birmingham. So it must be quite weird, mustn't it, really, at the airport? There must just be a load of... On the plane, there must be, like, a tow phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they what do they do? Sit there <clears throat> throwing sweet wrappers at each other. <laughs> I think they actually all talk to each other. Sorry? I don't think it's why you go over here. Um, Say again. I think they'll actually be talking to each other. It's not I like over so. here where yeah. two rival companies will fight. Yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. I think <coughs> over there they're more calm and just talk to each other. Yeah, I think they do. I think they, they talk to each other quite a bit. And I've noticed on, you know, when I've been on, say, Skype <laughs> to someone from China that it's usually got, you've got three mutual friends. So it's obviously they, they talk, you know, and the only friends I've really got on there are you know, other than people now like yourself to use on here, is Chinese suppliers. Yeah, because if you look at some of the Facebook groups of, say, uh, Geekvit, you'll find some people that work for other companies in their groups. Yeah. yeah. And chatting away. Yeah. Uh, and Lynn says that Batman has a good intro to his reviews. Yeah, he does some quite nice um, reviews, doesn't he? Batman from the States. Quite like his. Yeah, profile RTO. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Mike was talking about the profile. That's the mesh one again, isn't it? So, yeah. you know, Mike didn't like it that much either. So, I mean, But, you know, we're all different. We all like different things, don't we? I think... Oh, hang on. Uh... What's this? Andy Fletcher. Mark Nature, I've had a bit of stuff off you, mate. Thank you. Dunno. Must have ordered off you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What have I done? I don't know. I can't remember. Do you know you... Oh, yes, I think I do remember. I think I do remember. Yeah. The trouble is, my phone, I've just had to... You know, I've bought one of these battery packs that goes on the back of it because in no time I've got no battery you know it's, it's just ringing permanently and uh, I turn it off well turn the silent thing on it sometimes because it just gets too much you're eating your tea it's a ping 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 <laughs> there's so many different medias now isn't there that you know if you got your, your Facebook your you know your Twitter your YouTube <laughs> everything seems to be pinging at you do you find that you get a lot of messages Mark I silent them all. You silent them all? Yeah, so the only time I'll get them is when I open up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps that's what I should do. So what do you... And you just go through them at your leisure, I guess, do you? Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that pings is uh, Messenger. Right, yeah. So, and when I'm in my bed, I put my phone on silent, so if anybody tries to message me or phone me, it doesn't ring or nothing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think Johnny Boy Edwards is talking about you, is he? Um, no, is he? Are you Johnny Must Boy? Must be. Have <laughs> you read it, have you? Somebody translate for us? Because yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. I've had to say, say it again once or twice, but it's um, it's quite a 
quite a broad accent yours, isn't it? But I get the gist. We all get the gist. So uh, I think it's when when you talk quickly, it it tends to you know we, we lose you a bit, or I lose you a bit. <laughs> I get that a lot. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's just us Scottish, we talk fast. You do talk um, fast, yeah, yeah. If you're not used to it, then you can struggle to hear what we're saying. I think it's all right, once, it's like every other accent, once you're in the company of that person for a little while, you you understand it, don't you? And I used to have years ago, I had a, a friend of mine that no one could understand him, but me really, and the reason for that was, once you knew he repeated everything he said, twice then you understood you didn't have to listen to all the rest of it you only had to listen once because <laughs> <he> just <laughs> the next bit was the same thing again but it, it used to confuse people um he's a mumbler <laughs> they talk about stop mark stand up for yourself so <laughs> shout out <laughs> so i'm not a mumbler <laughs> No, I don't think. Nah. Uh, I don't think. It's, let's move on. Stop picking on my guest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John Nature Vote sent any packages Kelpie to Norway yet? Yes, all the overseas, and there's quite a few overseas for the Kelpie. Um, they went off again. The black ones went off yesterday, and the, the stainless steel went off today. And you should. If you've ordered one, John, I can't remember, you should have had a tracking number emailed to you. So if you can't see that, check your junk mail. It's probably gone there, but we will have done it. Uh, there's one or two gone to the States as well. Yeah, there's quite a, quite a few Kelpies gone overseas. So I think Vic's audience is, is quite far and wide, isn't it? You know, it's, um, even in my chat, I mean, there, well, there's Laurie for a start, look in Kenya. So there are, you know, there are people from all over. Now, on my website, my most viewers are from USA. Sorry? On my website, I can check to see where everybody's from that's looking at my site. Oh, right. And I've yeah. got twice as much people from the USA looking at my site than I do from the UK. Have you? Yeah. Which is surprising. Do you mean... Yeah, do you mean on your website, though, or on YouTube channel? No, website. Right, okay. It's definitely Daniel's turn to pick on me tonight, isn't it? How long <laughs> does it take for the sheep to understand you? See, back to sheep, just because I'm from Norfolk. <laughs> the old ones are the best. There's always funny stories about sheep, isn't there? I'm going to have a glass of or a sip of my wine now on that. And Oh, Tina's in chat. Hi, Tina. Um, Wibbly, quick question, guys. Oh, there you go. I'm going to let you answer this, Mark, because I've talked, whoop, talked enough. From Wibbly, quick question, guys. Best mesh tank coil stock? Mesh stock coil tank, sorry. <coughs> um, the best, it's a choice of two. No, it's the Freemax um, M Pro or Mesh Pro. As long as it's not the resin one, because the top's too open too easily on it. And the other one I would say is the matte tank. His are pretty good. The which tank? Matte tank. Matte. Yes, right. from Vupu. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Um, what about the Freemax? The M Pro. Oh, right, okay. Or the so, Mesh Pro. So, yeah, right, I'm with you. Yeah. So I don't really do... The only Mesh tanks I've really used are the EH Pro and Artery ones. Um, I'm not really... I don't think I've ever been known, or my site has ever been known, for Mesh tanks, or, or sub own tanks, really, in general. It's more RTAs, RDAs, things like that. But that's because you don't sub on. Well, I do, but you know, I've got, I've got my mouth to lungs. So actually, the, I can't really argue with you tonight because there's nothing on this desk to defend me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is. <laughs> there's one. I've got me. I've got me dripper. 
on the <laughs> top side jewel. But I'm going to be fair. I haven't vaped that for a little while, so I'm not going to have a blast off that because it will taste rank. <clears throat> and flat caps in, in chat as well. So what's this about your clouds flat cap? I'm not with it. I don't understand. Perhaps you could explain. Someone asked if I was in your clouds. I don't know. <laughs> and UK Vapester. Um, did you watch the show with Rob, UK Vapester? Everyone said he was... <laughs> the different people no, he sounded I like. I missed that. Hugh, um, Hugh Grant, and uh, and that he looked like Will Young, I think. <laughs> so he, he got all sorts of comments he did last last week. Right, okay. Oh, free, yeah, yes, Freemax I've heard about. Also, don't Horizon do it? Yeah, Horizon do do one. That's supposed to be quite good, isn't it, Mark, from what I hear? Never tried it. Oh, right, okay. I've heard good things. I haven't tried one either. Um, and the rest is just uh, you will crown okay well Andy let's put that up there that's, if Andy's uh, I found you will crown for the best stock for flavour I yeah again I've heard quite good things of that but you wells another company that I probably worse on me really I, I should have dealt with them but they're a good company but I've just never never really stocked their stuff you can't stock it all can you no I have tried the Crown Floor Tank, and it is good, um, but no, I don't like it. <laughs> um, Merck, release your RDA before Victor, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, I enjoyed the True Tank, I'm not sure, would I do it again? Possibly if the right opportunity came along with the, if I had the right vision an idea in my head but i don't think i would do it just to do another tank i mean i certainly didn't do it for financial reasons because i didn't earn a bean other than i sold some off off the off the site obviously but i enjoyed the whole process but it, it was there's a lot of hard work is it something you've ever thought of doing mark no i haven't got time to do it See, if you worked overseas with your lorry, driving your lorry, you could be in your little cab designing a tank, couldn't you? <laughs> then you would no. have time to do it. I'd be sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> the same as what I do just now. I get up in the morning, go to work, come home, get something to eat, chill for a bit, come up here, do some stuff and go to my bed. And it's a continuous circle. Monday to Friday. Right. Do you, you're an early riser then? Up at five o'clock in the morning. Five? Is there, yeah. is there two of them in a day? <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was only one. And I don't usually get in until about seven at night. Seven at crikey. Oh, it's a long day, isn't it? It is a long yeah. day. Oh, I, <laughs> Rob's fighting back. <laughs> I look <laughs> sound like every good-looking man is it a crime no it's not a crime and i th i think you're um i think you you spoke well rob We're very clear and easy to understand unlike tonight's guest apparently who's no one can understand <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe that i'm sure there's a lot of people who can understand you perfectly well i think they're just picking at you um oh i see right flat cab i'll i'll, I'll show you my new game expo it's a game is it i right okay I shall be there on the Saturday. Uh, and Justin Aspire have got some new Nautilus 2 mesh coils coming out, 0.7. Yeah. There's so much coming out that we, I mean, even as reviewers stroke, you know, online de uh, retailers or whatever, we don't get to hear of everything, do we? I mean, if you look at the... The pods, I was watching Fix What's Up, I think he got about three or four pods again this week, didn't he? You know, and... He, and then did he get four? Four, did he? Aye. You know, that's just that's just in a week. You know, multiply that by, you know, even if that's two a week, 100 pods, oh, it's just crazy. Crazy, crazy. Nita, good evening, Mark. Yeah, good evening, Nita. 
So, anyone else got any questions for, for my tonight's guest? You, you've got your live show, haven't you, Mark, that you have every Sunday, isn't it? Every Sunday from 7 o'clock with me and Demi Crazy Damper. And Demi Belgium. is from... Belgium. Belgium, correct. Yeah, yes. yeah. I had to think there. Yeah, he's he's quite casual, isn't he? Casual, Colin, and he sort of sits there vaping away. He has a, he has a lot of clouds in his room, doesn't he? When he's when he's vaping. Yes. Well, yeah. I'll be coming up a year if I met him because I met him at the May Expo last year. Right. Because we were staying in the same hotel, uh-huh. and both of us was sitting out on the patio having a drink and a vape. Yeah. And we got started talking, and that was it. Oh, right. Well, that's nice, isn't it? So, uh, I mean, it just goes to show that Expo is a social occasion and and can do, do you good, mutually, you know, good for, for the future. But, I, I mean, I, I often sort of drop on your show perhaps halfway through. So I usually say hi, I'm usually late. You know, I do it mm-hmm. as everyone, so it's not just you. <laughs> you know, I tend to do my work, you know, have my time routine or whatever. Then I think, oh, I'll see... And I open the laptop and say, oh, there's Mark eating my baby. I say hello and have a watch of your show. So I, I sort of have a little watch, say hello. And, you know, and usually then you're not too far the... What time does it come on, you say, on a Sunday? 7 o'clock until 9. 7 till but 9. So, it's yeah. not just shown on my YouTube channel. It's also shown on Demi's. Oh, is it? So right. I've got two charts to watch. Oh, crikey. How <laughs> um, confusing. I struggle with one. Well, I just concentrate on my own because usually Demi's chaps um, in Belgian and I can't read that. Right. So I'll leave that for Demi. Right. Okay. <laughs> but I still have it open for the odd English question that's in there. Right. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got in chat here? What's, the, what's that from Chunk? They're great. Coils for them are penny. Oh, I see. Yeah. Coils for the... What coil's that for then, Chunk? Sorry, I missed missed that bit. <laughs> What's Mike on about? <laughs> That's wrong. You select in chat. You only re- read a little bit. <laughs> uh, I had a Russian saying something in Russian to me yesterday, Rob. I, s- <laughs> I can't translate. I can actually just picture you saying that, Mike. That'd be quite funny. <laughs> Um, Mike sent me a rather strange video the other day. Did he send it to you? He sent me a rather strange video no, on me. I don't think so. Yeah, some chap weightlifting. It was, I was horrified. I really was. But um, question. Is this a question for us? Uh, let's put it up there. Uh, I still search the silver version of the Dark Knight RDA from Marvec. It's sold out on every website I know. Can you recommend a UK vape, sh- vape shop site? It's probably where I could find that. No. Do you know? No. Never heard it. No, I don't know. No, I'm sorry, Pee-wee. I can't answer your question. Useless, aren't we, tonight? Absolutely useless. Yeah. We can't know everything. <coughs> Um, oh yeah, and Daniel's saying give it a thumb. Yeah, come on, folks, put a th- put a few thumbs up. We haven't had one down yet either. Where's where's my hater? I usually, <laughs> I usually get one down at the start of every show. I'm feeling lonely. Where's my down thumb? <laughs> I thought there's one coming then just for fun. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I think. That, there's a lot of UK vapes to chat. They're, they're talking about his English accent. I think I think that's a lot of the the chat. Uh, just seen TV. Oh, right. Okay. Well, let's put that up for Matt. Just been seen TVP's Kelpie review. Loves the flavour. Like you have concerned about the fill and the deck screws. Yeah, the, <clears throat> I wouldn't be too concerned about the fill. I don't think um, the deck screws are going to be... <laughs> There's a couple of thumbs down. Here they come. I just saw them come down <laughs> my screen like this. Um, I wouldn't be too concerned about the fill. The deck screws, personally, I would have preferred hex screws. They're Phillips, uh, Mark, in case you didn't know. But I would have preferred hex, but that's a personal thing. And, you know, it's Vic's tank. He preferred Phillips. So, you know, there you go. You have what you prefer, you know, as as, as a person, don't you? As long as it's not a sorted head. 
Wait, but then my dill was. I'm fine. Right. Yeah. I changed them out for hex. Well, I, on my um, sample I got the kelpie. I must admit I changed mine out for a hex screw. Uh, so a hex screw will fit in there. So it's not. It's no biggie. It's not a biggie, is it? Do you know what size? Yes, I do. I thought I had the pack here. Uh, they are... Daniel knows, I think. I told him. Daniel, can you remember, if you're in chat, what the size of those screws were? Because my brain has gone tonight. Uh, don't look tired. I feel absolutely shattered. <laughs> 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 so sorry if I'm not on top form tonight, folks, but it has been a very, very long week. It's only the start of the week. No, but it's been a long week. If you <laughs> if you take the... What's the worst day you could have asked for the Kelpies to arrive? When you know that everyone's waiting and anxious for them, you want to get them out as quick as you can for people to help them out. And the worst day that could possibly have arrived was Monday. Monday. Because we've got... All the weekend orders, Mondays is always a drama day anyway. And on top of that, I mean, as luck would have it, they didn't all come. Otherwise, we, we wouldn't have got them all out. It's as simple as that. Um, but, you know, the blacks arrived, so we managed to get them out. But as luck would have it, we'd packed the bulk of the sort of weekend orders by the time they, the doorbell went. <laughs> so, so that was all right. But, yeah, so long day. I mean... Like so, and Tina, bless her, she's she's like a machine when she's packing, and I hope. And I, I, well, we won't have made a mistake, would we? We're perfect, but if we have, I apologise. Did you have everybody's envelope pre done with their name and address? No, no. So no. you had all that to do at the same Yeah, time? well, we don't really on our on our site. It's it's quite a good system. We've got it. I mean, I've been doing it for some time, so the software's improved and everything else. So the pre-orders, it's basically just tick boxes. So you select everything, um, you invoice, ship, complete, email, and it spits out the invoice, spits out the address label, emails the customer a tracking number. So literally, they're just like a wad of invoices and a wad of labels and, and it's then just as long as you get the right label with the right invoice you're all right um so yeah it's not it's not too bad i mean when i first started um oh god what we do i think we when we very st first started we hand wrote them then we went to like copy and paste and oh, i can't imagine copying and pasting what we just sent out of the weekend <laughs> But uh, and then we got a piece of software uh, called we still use it actually as a backup um, Breeze and that's for that works with PayPal and it will print off all the you know the addresses straight from there off a label printer so that that's quite a good system. So you say you've got a website, not a selling one, have you, Mark? No, I'm just sure. one for my reviews. One for your reviews, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's www eatmybb.com that's it there's a plug get your plug in right yeah I can't I can't see anything else in chat that I've that I probably have I'm <laughs> I think I'm seeing double <laughs> <laughs> so with your review channel how long have you been going Mark review wise oh, it's been about five years five years that... have you really crikey I can't I'm... even mind I'll I've, tell you that now. I've been watching your, your channel for some time. Um, yeah, I don't really want that much subs. Because I don't want all the hassle that all the rest to get. <laughs> you don't want subs. <laughs> Everyone in chat, don't subscribe to Mark. <laughs> he doesn't I do, want I you. don't want, like, 20,000 of that. I'd be quite happy with us around about 1,500. Really? That would do me fine, yes. yeah. Um, no, oh, it's only been three years my channel's been gone. I thought it was longer. It felt longer, did it? I've been waiting for six right. come yeah. the 6th of May. Yeah. yeah. But my first video went up three years ago. Three years um, ago. 11th of June 2015. So that's coming up four years, actually. 
for you. Do you ever watch your first one again and think, God, I was awful? I can, it was awful. I was using my mobile phone to do the recording. Oh, yeah? There was no FaceTime at all on them. Yeah. It was just the down core section and that was it. You still on. see some people do that, don't you? And you think, why would you do that? People want to relate to you as well. Why just have this... You see sort of the the finished result. They've left their tab thing on the table and it's like, like a plume of vapour and it's really good. And then that's the end of the video. And you think, why would you do that? You know, they want to see the person, I think, at the end. Well, I'm camera shy, so I wasn't allowed to come on and show my face. Right. Yeah. And then eventually, like, I suppose I better do this. Now that I've got a decent camera that I can actually see myself as I'm recording. Right, yeah. To make sure I'm in shot and I'm not just showing the top of my head or something yeah. with the phone. So what sort of camera do you use now? At the moment, I'm using... I can't mind, it's a Panasonic. Panasonic. Oh right, yeah. Um, HCVX eight seventy, and I've also just got the Canon M fifty. You haven't. You oh, earn oh. too much money. These lorry drivers, they're on too much money. Wow, that's a lovely camera. As it's nice and light, it's not as heavy as your DSLRs. That's a mirrorless camera, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's their new one. That's a lot mm. of money, isn't it, Mark? <clears throat> £500. <laughs> <laughs> so I got that. Yeah, plus what lens? That lens come with it. Oh, did but it? I do have a macro lens right. as well. Yeah. For doing my bulge section from the side yeah. rather than from on top. Yeah. And then I went away and got a gimbal for an expo. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. So try to get that to link to the cameras a wee bit hard. Yeah. I spent about three days trying to do that. And, do you and think, I still can't do it. Right? I was going to say, do you think you cracked it? Or is it still, <laughs> can you still uh, I think I'll probably just get my phone. and. <laughs> <laughs> well, last expo I just had the Panasonic. And see, try to get a decent smooth shot to get down to the cases to see the stuff that was inside the cases. Yeah. Yeah. I was a bit breaking my wrist half the time trying to get it down yeah. without a jerk. Yeah, yeah. So the I don't suppose you know the answer to this question, but on my my camera, not that we're sort of talking about non e sig stuff now, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um you don't get what they call a clean HDMI output. So in other words, you you can but you put it you have to put it in manual focus. You get the you know the four white little focus frames yes that you see on your when you put your flip screen out on your canon um you can't get rid of all that so when you put it through uh, i use a, a cam link uh, like a capture card and when you put it through that it shows these focusing so i can't use the canon i've got a in fact a friend of mine lent it to me a sony camcorder up here that i use for the on the table ones and a Logitech thing up, up here that I'm using using now. Is yours the Logitech you're using now? Yeah, it's uh, 930. That's I'm what using mine is. just now. Yeah, that's what mine is, 930. Um, yeah. No, I use my camera. Just record onto the card and then transfer yeah, it from yeah, that is the SD the, card That is, yeah, that's the, the other way of doing it. Yeah. I'll sort of change what I do a bit now. I, I tend to... Before I had to go out to the log cab and set all the cameras up, and like yeah, I did, was doing it to the car, but now I tend to do it with the cameras that are set up in front of me, so I don't have to change anything, which works okay until you <laughs> upload <laughs> the unedited version. <laughs> oh god, I was angry. <laughs> yeah, well, my bold area is actually the back of me where I do the course up section, right? Yeah. And my FaceTime's in front of me. Right, yeah. So I have to move my tripod and turn the camera on the tripod. Yeah. Because my tripod, the centrepiece that your camera sits on, you can actually take it off and put it from underneath. Oh, right, okay, yeah. 
Yep. So you're getting a true straight down photo? Yes, yeah, I think I and understand then, you. Yeah. When I come over here, I turn the camera around on the quick release. Yeah. So it's actually facing me and not away from me. Right. So I have to do all that. And plus I have to move this mic from where it is here over there for when I'm doing the close-ups. Yeah, yeah. So there is quite a lot involved, and that's what I'm saying. And and my time, I just don't get enough time. And it, I think I'd rather put the review up I want to by leaving everything set the way it is. And it's just that that would probably be the difference sometimes between me actually doing that review and not. Because it's a, it's a lot, isn't it? I don't think people realise quite how involved it is at times with moving cameras, changing the, you know, change your lights, change your microphone, <laughs> everything, isn't it? It's quite a lot. Well, I went away and got myself a ring light, which is there. Oh, right, it's a little one. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Um, my camera just sits just above it. Yep, yeah. yeah. And, That's and my other two lights are there, which I forgot to switch on before I started the show. Oh, did you? <laughs> I didn't yeah. notice, to be honest. I'm just using the ceiling. Oh, right. Um, yeah. So I forgot to switch them on. And I've got the two there, which one's there and one usual sits over there. So. Right. I get the two different angles on me. And all your vape kit behind you, all your. All your, <laughs> your all museum the up on the shelves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the uh, boxes that's up there have got their ta uh, tanks, drippers, mods in them. Um, and your vape queue. Uh, Where's your vape queue? Yeah. <laughs> There's my what, sorry? The, the vape queue. The, the, the vape queue? Yeah. Um, can you see it? No. Yeah. <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> I've got a battery charger. Right, yeah. And the vape anywhere. What's the vape anywhere? What's that? So you can vape in hotel rooms without setting off smoke alarms. Oh. I don't I don't normally worry. <laughs> 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 I always think it's their problem. <laughs> uh where was that message that I saw? Um yeah, John put that up there. John, sent me back I Kelpie to Norway yet. I think I answered you, John. Yes, they've all gone. Everything overseas has gone uh, with all the Kelpies, unless you ordered after 2 o'clock or midday, actually, today for overseas. They've all gone. Um, yeah, I mean, I think MF has put a, put a comment here. Two right marks to set the whole bedroom at move time, including laptop stands, lighting, mic and cameras, and iron and board, etc., that he's a driver. I feel a bit sorry for Mike like that because he's he's having to like pack everything away. At least you know you can leave the yours out and I can leave mine out. But Mike literally has to unpack everything, set it up, pack it all the way again. It is is a is a lot to do. So I'd never heard of that a, a thing to stop setting alarms off. <laughs> What's that? Can he just use a pillowcase? <laughs> Oh, you're joking. No. Oh, that's no fun. I... <laughs> <laughs> that's no fun at all. Once I've used it and it's given out the vapour, mm. when I'm vaping into it, I'm going to open it up and see what's inside, because I think it's just cotton. It's the, I just think that's all it is, isn't it? I think that's what it is. But I don't want to waste one just to find out where it is. Yeah, that's my... Yeah, I can say this on air. My my nephew, when he got married, we stayed in a hotel and and I, I opened this, like these windows, like the, what do they call them, Victorian-type windows. I opened the window and I, at the time I was on a direct lung of some sort. I can't remember what, what it was now. And I was... Out, out the window, I was vaping away. What I hadn't realised, it's blowing it all straight back in, straight up to the smoke alarm. <laughs> and it, yeah, I set the whole hotel alarms off, didn't I? And the guy came banging on the door. I said, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I came clean. I said, I was vaping. <laughs> he was actually all right about it. He was fine. 
Yeah, because somebody right. tells you go you can't actually open the windows full. They'll only open so far for yeah. safety reasons. Yeah. Um when I was in the premier and I was going in the shower putting the light on, put the extractor on, and I was just saying a quick vape in there. But I, I don't think a mouth to lung would be enough to set a, an alarm off, would it? I wouldn't have thought. There was another case for mouth to lung. Depends how much vapour you're putting out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... Oh God, it ain't much, is it? Really off a of mouth to lung. It really isn't. But... Any old side up. It has hit the 10 o'clock hour. Um, where's that hour and a half gone, Mark? Where do, where uh-huh. do they go? It's unbelievable, isn't it? I... You always think, you know, <laughs> it's probably about an hour gone. It's not. It's, it's an hour and a half, and that's that's where I normally finish and will tonight. I'm surprised I lasted an hour. You can see my, you can see my eyes in, in there. I, I am, like, super tired. So uh, we'll call that a, a, a night in a minute. I'll just um, hand over to you now, though, Mark, and let you say your, your goodbyes. Um, obviously, from me, thanks for coming on the show, but I'll say that in a minute. So, if you want to <laughs> say your goodbyes, thanks for having me on in the first place. Um, it's been good to be here. Nice thanks, everyone in chat, for the questions. And sorry if you couldn't understand me, but it's just me. <laughs> you get used to it once you listen to me for a wee while and you pick up my slang and whatnot. But, yeah, thanks for being on the show. No, yeah, it's lovely to have you on, Mark. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, I think most people have understand you. I think it's um, it's just it's, a lot of your words, it, they tend to join together, don't they? And I think that's like you get, instead of you get used to it, you get used to it. Twit, is it? Twit? Yeah. You know, and that's <laughs> not a twit. I didn't mean twit. <laughs> used to it. <laughs> the words get joined together. But, um, yeah, um, everyone in chat, I'll say sorry tonight. I must, I must have been awful at reading chat tonight, but I am, as I've said more than once, I am super tired. I'm always bad at chat anyway, but tonight I'm super bad. Thank God I didn't have Vic on tonight with chat going up like crazy. So, uh, But, yeah, thanks for all your uh, comments and questions and, and sharing your opinions, as always, and asking your questions. Mark, thanks ever so much for coming on. Lovely to have you on the show. And I understood you most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> and anyone who hasn't seen Mark's channel, go and have a look. Mark Eat My BB. He's been going a long time. Very knowledgeable. Um, I always say watch more than one person. So, you know, it's nice to watch a spread of people, whether they be large channels or small, to, you know, to get an overall opinion. So yeah, check it out, and until next week, folks, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon. Oh, and enjoy Expo, and hopefully if you see me there, give me a kick, but not too hard, and say hello. All right, take care. Bye. Bye.